Good morning, everyone. This is Daniele Capezzone, you from Italy, the watcher Paul's from the Utopia Studios in Rome. So the question is, should taxes be imposed by our own national parliament or should they be determined uh, by international agreement at a multilateral level? That's the question. And of course, there are several different possible answers. A possible answer is no taxation without representation, the classical and iconic principle which helped uh, to build uh, United States of America, that institutional success story. If you happen, as I do, to believe in that principle, no taxation without representation, you are supposed to think that it's up to people's representatives elected in a parliament and not to a government, let alone to an international conference, to decide how much of our money has to be raised and drawn. And if you happen, as I do, to believe in that kind of principle, you will be a bit disappointed by uh, last week's um, G7 announcement that, according to the seven major countries, there will be a 15% global and uniform uh, corporate tax rate, which will act as a floor, not as a ceiling. Uh, forget some details, if I might. Uh, we know very well that taxes are a complex and global phenomenon. We know very well that it is not easy to find the proper way to have a reasonable tax revenue from tax giants, uh, tech giants. We know very well that it should be extremely important to have a leveling playing field between uh, working class, middle class and tech giants. We know all that. And I also ask you to leave aside a uh, U.S. domestic side of the story, which has been a bit underestimated by EU papers. Uh, but perhaps you know that last week, before the G7 meeting, uh, U.S. President Joe Biden was involved in a difficult uh, negotiation in Washington. On the one hand, he wanted to push for his Keynesian plan, his infrastructure deal. On the other hand, he wanted to raise uh, the corporate tax rate from 21% to 28%. Republicans opposed this choice. They threatened him with filibustering. So in order to have their support for his infrastructure deal, he proposed a sort of compromise. He uh, uh, took back his idea of raising taxes uh, uh, till 28%, and he proposed this compromise of a 15% uh, 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 floor, and the very same principle adopted in the US was proposed by Biden at the G7, which accepted it. Now, of course, there will be several steps to be made. There will be uh, next, month, uh, next month in Italy, in Venice, at G20, where the seven main countries will try to uh, get a broader, larger consensus for their, for their proposal. But let's leave aside all that and let's focus on, do, on two, uh, how could I call them, two schools of, of thought. On the one hand, there are those who think that it's better to have taxes decided at a multilateral level. On the other hand, there are those, and I will tell you frankly that I belong to this second school of thought, who think that it's better to have a national decision. Why? For two main reasons. The first one is that you can have, at a national level, a tighter and stronger control on those who make this kind of decision, on your politicians. The second one is that with a taxation at a national level, uh, uh, this kind of taxation is likely to be better controlled. You can have some tax restraint and you will have some chances due to fiscal competition between different nations to have, uh, uh, how can I say, uh, taxes leveled down rather than leveled up. In any case, in the EU there has been a long debate and there will be 
a long debate again in the future. To make an example, the SPD German leader Olaf Scholz is a, a strong supporter of the opposite scheme, the harmonization scheme. In EU, as I was saying, there has been a great debate about the possibility of a sort of harmonization tax system and about the establishment of a Euro area finance secretary with a mission of harmonizing, that is to say, imposing a global uniform tax system for the 27 EU members. A straight jacket of uniformity from Finland to Portugal, from Germany to Greece. To be honest, as far as I'm concerned, I'm inclined to disagree. First of all, because I think that everyone needs a suit of our of ease of her own size. If you have a very fat person and a very thin person, it's not a good idea to offer them two suits of the very same size. But the most important reason is that if you accept a sort of harmonized system, you are also accepting a sort of machine on autopilot with this kind of autopilot maneuvered in Brussels far from any national and popular accountability. So the debate is open. I've told you frankly my view, but of course any other possible opinion is not only to be accepted, but to be respected. The debate has just been opened. Thank you for now. See you next Friday here at A View from Italy.